Hey guys, a little look at the HLA 85. That's the one in the middle. Uh, we've got the little short HLA 65, which I did the review on. And I think that's the best thing since sliced bread. The HLA 85 in the centre there. And the only difference is, mechanically, it's got a bit of an extender at the back there to protect the battery. And... You can flip that open and it's telescopic and goes out to that far. So that gives you an idea of the extra reach you get. Um, gosh, that's a good two and a half feet longer than the short one and probably a good two foot longer than the, what's the petrol one I've got there? That's the KM94, which is actually a nice machine. Uh, weight wise the petrol one is seven kilos with a tank of juice uh, with the AP 300 battery in it the HLA 85 is six and a half kilos so it's about half a kilo lighter um, motor blade everything as I say is the same as the HLA 65 so you can see how that one cuts on my other video uh, excellent machine excellent machine however Here's the point of balance in the centre, that's with it closed up. At full extension, you can see where the point of balance is. And with the motor all the way up there, that is bloody hard to hold without the help of like some sort of an arm. Mechanical arm I mean, which you can, I've got one on my ladder which is why I bought this but if you were thinking about buying this to hold it way out there to do horizontal stuff yeah you can do a little bit but gee whiz you're not going to last long vertically no probs that's as I say six and a half kilos keep it vertical and you can sort of get to about there either side before it starts getting a bit of a strain so you get plenty of extra height out of it but the extra reach to take advantage of, yeah, you need some sort of a mechanical uh, arm to, uh, to hold the weight. Or, uh, there is a harness called a GTM elephant's trunk, which I'm going to give a go. I've got a demo of it from the people at uh, Cromlins and my local distributor, which is E.E. Days. Um, so I'll give that a go with this as well. But yeah, look, this is an excellent machine. Um, again, you get about three hours of solid work out of the AP300 battery, um, which by the time you muck around with ladders and do a bit of raking up, for me usually gets to about sort of four and a half hours before I have to recharge or put a new battery in. Um, cuts beautifully, nice and quiet. Um, best thing since sliced bread, but that does feel fairly heavy because of the motor way out there. So, you know, you can, as I say, you can, you can do the odd sort of bit uh, to get that extra length, extra width, horizontally, but at full extension, it's a bit of a gut bust, I've got to say. And it has this funny little um, scabbard on it that <laughs> it doesn't come off, unless you squeeze it there, and then it comes off. So they put nice blades on these, the same as the HLA 85. Uh, you've got um, three screws there you can take off to get to the gearbox and put some new grease in it, um, which I tend to do sort of every week. That's nice and easy to undo and extend. Uh, same cutting head. Locks into a few various positions there. And then goes into its transport position. And as I say, like for, for tall vertical stuff, that's good. Just when you try and hold the thing out horizontally, the extra weight out here does make that a bit of a strain. Now, you can take a bit of strain off the old elbows and shoulders if you happen to have...
an elephant's trunk harness. That's strapped to my back, but it holds the weight. And I can actually push that out to there and hold it with one hand. Isn't that clever? And you can sort of adjust your height up to about there. I can shift that ball a bit. So that's one way of cheating if you really want to get the uh, that extra that extra width. Let's see what happens if I extend it out. Can I still hold that at full extension with this harness? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Just. I can't do that without help. But, let's go and give this a fly, shall we? Beauty, Nick. Got nothing for you today, just at the moment.